Alright you guys, here's the scoop. I know we're a little late this week. Somebody mentioned Famish Friday. Well, that makes a lot of sense. We are down in the Keys at Uncle Larry's house. And Uncle Larry, I know you're watching. So, thank you so much. We've had such a great time. We've got Stacy and Joey Haluska. we got Carly. And we got Riley from Stir. And, I mean, I mean, we're just having like an absolute great time. We've got a ton of lobster. We got Trevor Williams. He came down from the Space Coast. It's mini season, 2015. And we're going up to cook lobsters for tasty, whatever day you want to call it. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. So Sarah and I are down here in the Keys. It's mini season. She's been doing a video on how girls catch lobster. Well, we're on our way in, and literally there's no one else left off the content keys off Summerlin. We're coming in, we see this boat, turn around, and they're out of gas. Well, we got some, baby. We just so happen to have five gallons of gas. See, we've got a little hookah, a little third lung, right there, that runs off gas, and we always keep extra gas. Well, in this circumstance, they need some. We got some. But, Good deal. But we already told them it costs 500 bucks and a pair of Costa sunglasses. Oh, and, and a pair of sunglasses. Now it just it doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, here you go. This is our gift from Deer Meat for Dinner. Dude, you guys are the bomb. The cool thing about this is it's always nice when you can help somebody. We had no idea what, what was going on, but anytime you can stop and help somebody, you should. It's not a bird we're saving this time. It's, it's friendly boaters. We appreciate your stuff. So there's two ways you can clean a lobster. One, use a knife. Go up and cut around the tail. You get more meat off of it. That's obviously not as fast. Or grab the head, grab the tail, twist, and there's the meat. We like to use a knife. Get that lobster. Whoops. I guess Rimmers wants to go. Where's that lobster at, Rimmers? Mumbo Jumbo, baby. Big one. Go get that. Where's that, Rimmers? All right. After you've separated the head from the tail, you got to remove the vein. So, take a lobster, break off the antenna. Break it again. Take the tail. There's a little opening. Stick it in. Twist it. All right, once the lobsters have been cut or wrung and veined out, you're gonna take the tail, stick them in a slurry, ice water. 
since we have so many, this is the method that works for us. It's not what you have to do. So whatever y'all want to do, do. Whatever works, works for you. This is just simply what works for us. All right, now that they're all clean, it's time to freeze them. So you're gonna stack them nicely, kind of like a shoe box. One end's bigger than the other. So there's a method to the madness. Now that you have that, like a shoe, turn it the other way so it fits. Easy as that. Now, put that in the freezer. Option two, get you some aluminum foil. You don't need a crazy big piece. Grab a tail, curl it up, and pretend you work at Subway. Lobster potato. Where y'all go? Stir! <laughs> You got individually wrapped tails. <laughs> All right, Tasty Tuesday, number 27, and I'm in front of the camera. And we got lobster tails. So tonight, Rob's letting me cook. Uh, we're gonna do this new dish that Stacy actually cooked for us last night, and it was phenomenal. So I'm gonna try to replicate it as best I can. And while that's marinating, I'm gonna do my potatoes. Rob's never let me done them. Tonight, I'm gonna do them. And we got background noise. <laughs> do you hear that? He's snoring. I'm snoring. And while Sarah's cooking in the kitchen, <laughs> He's snoring in the background. So if you guys get confused as what that background noise is. It's not an airplane. It's him snoring. All right. Yeah. Now, this is the way Rob's taught me to split the lobster. My, that's a sharp knife you got there. What is that? That's our silver steak chef knife. That's on the website. She sounds like Ted Nugent. <laughs> she does! <laughs> that's great. Aunt Nugent, Aunt Nugent. Okay. Aunt Nugent. <laughs> Uncle now, Ted, we love you. Are you gonna let me film? Because if I was doing that to you, you'd be yelling at me. Okay. Take a fork, put it in the side, hold on to your meat. Boom, pull it out. You can do this to all of them. All right, take the lobster, put it in a bit as a clock bag. Roasted red pepper Italian dressing by Kraft. This is like the secret ingredient. We got almost half a bottle. Dump it all in. Good. Two heaping mm, tablespoons, I would say. Maybe not. Put it in. Our favorite. Well, okay. Everglades is our favorite. I'm trying the heat tonight because it was so good last night, so I am trying it. Everglades heat. Pepper. And olive oil. Then you mix it. 
Okay, now I'm gonna let this sit. While this is sitting, I'm gonna quick get my potatoes in order. So I already have diced up potatoes, onion, butter. Okay, you got your potatoes. I got onion. That's probably good. Butter, essential. Now we got Everglades, normal. Regular Everglades. Now, here's the key. Take a couple of ice cubes. You need ice cubes in there. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I think it steams it, um, but they're good. It's made of ice cubes. So we got potatoes, Everglades, regular Everglades, garlic salt, pepper, onion, butter, and ice cubes. Grab another piece of tin foil. Put it on top. Take the edges and roll them in. But there's one more little key to this. Pop holes in the top. There, one and done. Now we're gonna put it on the grill for about mm, 20, 30 minutes. We're just gonna play it by ear because I really don't know. All right. We got a little mini one going on. So we were just talking about it. We think it's probably gonna be like 30 minutes just because the potato chunks are a little bigger. But we're gonna play it by ear. It's 10-10. So I'm gonna check it around 10.30, but it'll probably be ready by 10.40, which is late, but whatever. Yeah, and while it's she's doing that, I want y'all to know, I haven't taken a shower in like a day and a half. Ew. And then tomorrow I'm going sword fishing. So this is my lovely bride's night. And I didn't realize he hasn't showered in a day and a half, but that's good to know. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, I hope you understand, this is just the way we live. Come I mean, on. Remy, come on. it's Trevor is actually a YouTube subscriber that just contacted us and wanted to be a part of what we're doing in the Keys. He's sleeping on the couch and having a good time. And Sarah's cooking, so I'm excited about that, y'all. We got our lobster. And Rob being the nice gentleman he is, move my potatoes. Okay, so Rob has only the left side on so that we're slow cooking these lobsters. And Uncle Larry, man, we wish you were here. I think that's it. Because Rob has told me you gotta time everything. So, time my potatoes, got them all cut. Got my lobster marinating. While that was marinating, I put my potatoes in the tin foil, got them on the grill. Then I put my lobster on the grill. So it's, should be all done at the same time. Fingers crossed. Something like this, you'd be spending like big bucks at the restaurant, especially in the Keys. I mean, it's all fairly pricey down here. So, coming down here, hanging out with good friends and the camaraderie, and like now, everybody's sitting at the table. I'm gonna have Rob show you, but everyone's sitting at the table having a great time, laughing. Can't get much better than that. And we're eating at 11 o'clock and the girls like 12 and 13 are like, whoa, all nighter. So, they're having fun. We're from Star. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got a bowl of butter, lemon juice, garlic salt going into my grave. <laughs> Well, that's not the look we were going for, but it's okay. This is why Rob doesn't like to eat cooked. That actually looks good. Normally we would have kept it on this side and let it fully cook, but it's literally like 11 o'clock, so we were trying to just quick cook it. I have never seen these. She's been telling me about these ice cube potatoes forever. Mm, they look oh. good. That's how you so that's okay, they look good. But as I always tell you, we're not about recipes, we're about ideas and having fun. So, 
Everybody's getting ready to make a plate, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Lord, uh, Lord, we thank you for such a great trip. Thank you for great families and friends and awesome times. Lord, I know that right now, tonight, there's a lot of people hurting. Lord Austin and, and Perry are lost, but you know where they are and what's up. Lord, I pray that you just heal each and every broken heart. I thank you for what you've given us. I thank you for our life, our friends, and each and every memory. Please nurse us, feed our bodies, and forgive us of our sins. Please name, amen. Amen. Sorry about the burnt laundry. Mom told me to put it on the hot side. We tried getting Herb to help out with this whole situation. Oh she my was gosh. Scared to be in front of the camera. Yes, That's Stacy and Holiska, everybody. I'm not. That's really her daughter. Right. Carly. Really good. Lobster. Best friend over there. Riley. Nathan. That's right here, Joey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Lobster. Oh, you got it. Oh, I got it. The roasted red pepper Italian dressing is the key. Try with butter. Try with the butter. May I mention? I don't need to try with butter. But I want you to. Can you hand it to him, please? Thank you. That's Joey's butter and Stacy's after. Now we're gonna try it with garlic butter. I do love that. <laughs> I do love that. But. You're not done. Try the potatoes. Good stuff. Do you like them? I love it. It's really cool to see Sarah get a bit part of Tasty Tuesday because these potatoes I've never heard of put ice in potatoes. Those were the lobster. We all put it together. But this was really Stacy's recipe that Sarah fell in love with last night and recreated tonight. But that's what this whole vacation, this whole get together is all about. Joey is a farmer. He, he raises bell peppers, you know? Stacy raises a family and, and works her butt off. Keeps this girl right here in line. And uh, Uncle Aaron, we miss you. So, Tasty Tuesday number 27 is a wrap. Plus one, Riley over here. From good time. Trevor, you are.